the first thing I wanted to put your attention to is um, uh, uh, actually a misconception. The first misconception is that uh, we think very often yes, that we need big breath and big uh, pressure of breath to support well our sound, to support well our singing. Mm? Is it really like this? Da -da, da -da, 100 million dollar question. <laughs> Is it really true? Is it always true? Hmm, we will look in it. Yes, maybe yes, maybe not, maybe not always. Okay. So, another thing that I, I noticed is that uh, we, opera singers or classical singers, yes, we did actually about breathing a sort of, uh, how can I say, Whew, mental complex. We have put this issue on an altar, yeah, and uh, forgetting that it's just actually one element of many others which create the recipe of classical singing, which is rather complex, to be honest. <laughs> That's why we need so much time to make a classical singer. So there are other, other, other elements, the larynx, the velum, the lips, the articulation, the neck, the duction, the posture, blah, blah, blah. Okay. But we did, uh, of this um, topic, a sort of really complex. And we are so uh, taken and so actually scared about breathing well that, um, that what uh, happened is that very often we over breathe we overwork we breathe so much that sometime we create a problem which at the start is not existing did you ever think about this it's a nice perspective huh? i mean i see a lot of people really uh, all around the world uh, in presence and online i can tell you that this is one of the main problems really Believe me, it is like this, <laughs> I can tell you. So what happens is that they pay a teacher, a trainer, to solve and, and, and need really training to solve a problem which they or, or we or me, I did it also when I was younger, I was not better than others, yeah, that we cause overworking, over breathing. So now, should we not breathe? Is this the answer? What do you think? Of course not. We cannot <laughs> avoid to breathe. But we should learn to breathe enough. And just enough. This yes. This means that if we use the breath in a good way, it becomes really our friend, our ally. If not, if we overwork, overdo, overbreathe, it becomes our enemy. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, it is like this, I can tell you. So we have to be very careful about this and learn and understand and feel how much quantity of breath we actually need. Just right, just what we need. <laughs> when I um, coach and uh, make sometimes vocalizes with uh, singers, young singers, but also really experienced one, huh? I can see very often that they start like okay <laughs> now it gets serious i'm an opera singer and i will breathe as if i would sing the whole tosca no if we make a vocalize or an arpeggio of five notes well we should take five unities let's say uh, in a metaphoric way uh, of breath if we make a long cadenza of course this is another another story uh, then we have to adapt we have to get this instinct we have we need to uh, get the skill, the intuition to change gear and not to always, always over breathe. Yeah. So now I would like to ask you to make a little, a little exercise with me, something really simple, nothing special, but so that you understand what I'm saying, not just with your mind. Huh? I see you all very concentrated. Thank you. <laughs> Ciao, David. You are smiling to me. <laughs> Ciao, sei italiano? Italian? No, okay. So, um, nice, uh, this webinar is live, fantastic, to get in contact with all of you. It's such a joy. I'm so emotional. My heart is really woo, <laughs> melting. So, 